Hi, this is Mark Vila from Coldesi, and today we're going to talk about sublimating t-shirts and when you get a big box around your design. So what happened? You printed your transfer, it looks great. You've got a great t-shirt like this Vapor Solar shirt. You take your transfer, put it on your really nice heat press, and when you lift it up, there is a big box right around your design and it doesn't look good. You don't really feel comfortable delivering that to your customers. So what we wanna do is we wanna show you a way of using the Vapor Foam Kit and taking that and being able to eliminate that box. And it's really easy to do. So what we'll do next is we'll break down to what the Foam Kit is, and then we'll take all the steps on how to use it. Let's go ahead and break down everything about the Vapor Foam Kit. So we'll start off with obviously the foam. This is a very particular foam that Vapor provides that's designed to withstand the temperature and pressure of sublimation. Then we've got our Teflon sheet. Again, there's a lot of different grades of Teflon sheets and this one is particular for the Vapor foam kit to help reduce those lines. Naturally, we've got a couple transfers and these were printed on our sawgrass printer. Some heat tape scissors, a ruler, and the Vapor Foam Kit instructions. This video is gonna describe the instructions, but I'm gonna highly recommend you still go step by step. And then lastly, we're using a Vapor T-shirt. This is a men's long sleeve solar tee. So that's everything we need. Let's get started. When we're cutting out our foam, there's really just a very simple concept to understand. Once you understand this concept, you could do it over and over again. The foam should be larger than your design, but smaller than the edges of the paper. And the idea is easy. The design needs to be under pressure and temperature, but you don't want the edges of the paper to be under the pressure and temperature. So that's what we're gonna do here. This design is about a 12 by 11 design, so I'm gonna cut out a piece of foam that's close to that size. And I'll also say another note on it, you don't have to necessarily have 100 different pieces of cutout foam for 10 by 11, 12 by 12, 12 by 13, all these things. What you can actually do is kind of have a standard size that works really well for say your 13 by 19 paper or your 11 by 17, eight and a half by 11, et cetera and you can use these over and over again, even though the design might not be that large. So let's go ahead and cut up this foam. So the first step of cutting my foam is done. I've got my design. It's larger than the design, smaller than the paper. And as you can see, this one can be universal for a bunch of different designs that fit onto this paper. Now the next part of this is cutting the top of the foam. You wanna pick one part of your foam that's gonna be up on the heat press platen and another part that is going to be down on your t-shirt or underneath your t-shirt, I should say. The part that's raised up, which would actually end up being like this on your heat press, we're gonna cut the edges at a 45 degree angle here. Now the reason that it's recommended to cut this at a 45 degree angle is so you don't have a hard stop on your foam, right? So there it quickly drops off. You can see where you have potential for another line. This helps to ease that pressure down so you don't have it. I've seen this, skip, this step skipped um, I'm not gonna recommend it for you. I'm gonna recommend going just by the instructions because when you do it, it works foolproof. And again, this will work not only for this size transfer, but one that is even a little larger or a little smaller. Uh, next step is gonna be setting up our heat press. So read the instructions uh, that are listed there because it varies for shirt to shirt. But what I'm doing for this shirt is 380 for 40 seconds. And that's right what I read on the instructions. And uh, one note that's on the bottom of the instructions, because if you read all of it, you, you've got enough information to understand, but these are guidelines. So you may do a transfer on a different shirt, or you may have a transfer with lighter or darker colors that you find you're gonna increase the temperature on, or you're gonna increase the time on. That's okay. These are guidelines to help you get started. Um, and I find that really, most of the time, what was on that paper works great. So what I have here is I've got the cutout foam, the 45 degrees is up, right? So you can kind of just imagine like uh, it's a pyramid, right? So this is up, 
What I want to do is I want to test the pressure before I do anything else. What we're looking to do is we're looking to squish this down about 50%. So you could put it on the edge, slide it in. and make your adjustments. We're gonna tr put this right where we want our design to be. Usually I'm gonna try to measure, since this is almost the full size of the platen, we can kind of just go right in the middle. Our next step is putting the Teflon sheet right on top. And we can use some heat tape to actually tape this down. If, we plan, if you plan on doing many shirts. Um, this can help you just to keep it in place. Uh, so I've got a Hotronics Fusion Heat Press. It's great for doing sublimation. Uh, a couple reasons this drawer allows me to work right here and the threadability where I can take the shirt and thread it on. You don't necessarily have to do this, but you've got to do something to prevent blowout or in other words the design from going through the front of the shirt to the back so one of the steps you could do is you could just put a teflon sheet between the front and the back of the shirt and then put it on um, another step step would be threading the shirt um, and another would be uh, just risk it and go for it and just make sure you don't go over your time so you don't sublimate too deep all the way into the back we're all ready to do our transfer. Uh, naturally, you're gonna wanna line everything up to make sure you're at the right distance from the collar and all that stuff. If you need some help choosing that, on ColemanandCompany.com, there is a heat transfer placement guide and it gives a bunch of tips and tricks. Again, all guidelines. Now we're all set. We checked our time, we checked our temperature, we checked our foam, we checked our positioning, everything is good to go. The design is not upside down, don't forget that part. And we can press. Now, before I lift it up, a couple things. You'll notice that um, we didn't put any tape down. You could have put tape because it'll work just fine over the edges. So just uh, notice that. Um, and then when we lift this up for the first couple seconds coming out of the heat press, it is still at sublimatable temperature. So don't you know jerk your heat press open too fast and don't lift it willy nilly. We kind of do a trick where we just hold it in place and then lift it up. And if you can see well on camera, which I know it's a little hard, but we don't have any lines over here. If we lift it up, you can't tell any press marks in the back. It looks really good. Well, here we are with our completed Vapor Apparel shirt using the Vapor Foam Kit. It works really good. Um, I'm gonna say just some final tips at the end, just wrapping it up. Um, some of the shirts that I've done, I've done probably a few dozen now. Um, some of the ones I've had to make some adjustments to the, that time and temperature. I've had to put less pressure. Um, some of them to get the colors vibrant enough, I've gone up to you know um, 390 degrees, 400 degrees. So just play with it. Make sure you, when you're ordering shirts, you get a couple extra shirts that you can use to practice, especially if using vapor apparel is new to you and once you dial it in you're going to really going to be able to get awesome results like this every single time so if you go to colemanandcompany.com you're going to see a few different things you'll find the vapor foam kit you'll find the instructions which a printed printed copy also comes in the box you'll see uh, vapor apparel just like this so there's a whole section of vapor apparel this is the men's long sleeve solar tee so it's a sun protection tee and uh we even have all the other little things we use like tape and scissors and all stuff like that. So uh, visit colemanandcompany.com and if you need some help, live chat with one of our pros.